Well, barbershop in East Buffalo opening doors for tough conversations, all in the name of destigmatizing mental health and men seeking mental health. Well, this is a topic that is critical in our community. That's why I attended the first of four installments of Barber Talk, Barbershop Talk to know how these conversations are helping. And tonight I'm sitting down with the community group and the barbershop owner himself hosting the conversation, as well as a neighbor who tells me that the neighborhood needs all the support that they can get. Cuts and conversations. That was the goal in Tuesday night's barbershop talk at Styles of Man at the corner of Delavan and Cortland Avenue on Buffalo's east side. A pillar of the community where people can come as a safe haven. They have a, a place to go to uh, besides just getting their hair cut. We may be a mentor to them, we may be a counselor to them, uh, somewhere where they can share their feelings. Barbershop owner Hakeem Hicks hopes that this open discussion can help break down the barriers of talking about mental health in the black and brown community. Get the word out there to let men, young men and older men know there's a safe space and you find different individuals out there that you can confide in and talk to about how you feel uh, and not keep it inside. Many need help you know I'm saying, and support and a lot don't, don't even know that they need it. So, so we're here trying to help. A safe space where guys have a dialogue around things relating to mental health. Suicide, depression, anxiety, how that affects us as men, especially for those of us who have families and children. I mean, it can be really taxing being both provider and showing up emotionally for our families. According to the CDC, in the United States, more men died by suicide than women in 2021. The data showed about 38,000 suicide deaths among men and about 9,900 among women. Part of what we're doing is destigmatizing men seeking support around mental health and getting the support that they need. The discussion is timely as we head into the winter months, which are often linked to seasonal depression. Men do not really open up a lot about, you know, talking about things related to depression. So some of the work that we're doing, the underlying work, is changing narrative around the way in which men relate to connecting with other guys to talk about issues that they're going through, and then more importantly, being able or feeling comfortable with seeking mental health related support.